Okay, so just shut that up. Ain't been out on a ain't been out on a pleasure cruise on the motorbike for quite a while. Because we've had nothing but storm after storm after storm every weekend. So sheds no further forward, the footings are still down and the hardcore is still all over the place. Got my big chunky gloves going on. Because although it's bright sunshine, it's rather chilly. Um, yes, so I won a bit of uh, two by two and four by two treated timber when I took down um, the fitted wardrobe that I'll work this out in a minute. Old age is very confusing. When I took down the wardrobe that the previous owner of the house had built very badly, but then he was a builder, so last thing you want to do is come home and use your trade at home. So it was a bit of a nasty thing, but for some reason he'd used tantalised timber for the frame. used to this, been a while, which meant I've kept some of it for the shed build. So a slight win, I'll, um, I'll stick a couple of photos in. of my wardrobe build. Just in case anybody's interested. Anybody? Yeah, I'll stick a couple of photos of my shed build. That's not sh <laughs> shed. Same sort, of, same sort of ability applied to a different project. Um, my wardrobe, my fitted wardrobe that I'm building. It's sliding door fitted wardrobe and you have to get the rails dead square or obviously the sliding doors don't slide so It was quite a th the feat of engineering for such an untrained amateur as me. Because I ain't no carpentry god, that's for sure. To get the rails spot on first time round. It did take a lot of thinking about. And there was a couple of bits of trimmage that need really re-trimming to make it fit. But... It all works beautifully. So that took a while to do. And then I've put a ply board screwed to the framework. Got all dizzy then. Yeah, so the, the wooden framework that's holding the door rails up, door runners up, is um, obviously all, all needs covering up because it looks rather ugly. So I'll put a ply facial on that, which it looks all right actually, I've done all right there.
I won't do any zoomed in pictures but first time at doing anything like that it's turned out good I'm rather proud but that has been taken up my time obviously the old woman wants that done before I'm really allowed to start on the shed in earnest it's just I had some decent weekends and um, well it was decent weekends after some very wet weeks which made the ground ideal for digging out to put the footings in for the shed so I cracked on with that but now we've had nothing but crap weekends apart from today which is meant to be a lot worse than it actually is and that's why I've just done a coat of gloss on all the framework that's why it looks so lovely and white from a distance <laughs> um, yeah I've just done a finished doing a coat of white on the framework and I haven't got anything to do while that's drying so I thought weather's good let's get out let's go that way so I thought I'd give the old GS a little run around the back streets And it started spot on, absolutely spot on. It didn't start <laughs> absolutely spot on. When did I go out and fire it up? Friday night, I think it was. Today's Sunday. So yeah, I went out Friday night to the shed. I needed to get something out the shed and I thought, well, while I'm here, I'll fire the old girl up, give it a run. And it took a little while to fire up but it did fire up and it hadn't been fired up for nearly two weeks as I say the weather's been shite the weekends have been shite and um, it's all shite really So the only biking I've really been doing is commuting. Which has had its moments. It's had some good moments. It's had some hilarious moments. But yes, when I went out there moments ago, the old girl fired up rather nicely, which it should. After just a couple of days of not being worked and which way are you going <coughs> yeah that was fifth still keep going for the sixth and I'm having to wear the big gloves because it's bloody freezing out I've got my heated vest on but I didn't have a great deal of thinking about going out for a ride so I never charged any of the batteries so it's an unheated heated vest but it's windproof and for what I can feel on my arms the vest is doing really well on my torso so that's all right but yes can't wait to finish the wardrobe and 
hopefully have some nice weekends to do the old um, start the old shed or continue with the shed should I say because the maintenance on the bikes really is suffering It's five gears, it's not six. Behave yourself. Yeah, the maintenance on the bikes really is suffering. Uh, the V-Strom got a quick chain coating of grease the other day. And a bit white lithium. White lithium? White lithium in the locks. But that's about all that's had. Where this one lives in the shed, obviously it got the big clean and the ACF 50 treatment the other week so it's had a bit more than others um, and the project bike I wrecked one of the heated grips the bar end wouldn't come out and it's such a thin one there's nothing really to get hold of so I decided to pull it off the, the reason I was taking it off was because the grip had come unstuck so that was the loose as anything so I thought I used the grip as leverage because I can really get hold of that and pull that off with the bar end weight absolutely brilliant idea worked perfectly trouble was the heated grip cable wasn't long enough to do something like that and I ended up ripping the cables out of the heated grip so 27 quid later and a new Oxford grip just the left hand one bought what are we doing then what are we doing then what are you doing then dickhead I just put the brakes on have a look at the countryside it's so beautiful around here um, yes 26 pound odd 27 quid later I bought a new left hand Oxford heated grip and this morning in the <laughs> it was weather like this really you can't really see it you might be able to hear it on the microphone but it's really windy today um, so standing out on my driveway in the wind in the shade just in a hoodie and a pair of shorts wasn't the best combination but it was one of those it's gonna take five minutes jobs which 30 minutes later when I was bloody freezing cold I had finished it so there's no wisdom doesn't matter how, how old you get you don't get any wiser bloody frozen I was but the grip is stuck on with Gorilla Glue because it does seem like grip glue doesn't glue grips sun's in my face should have cleaned my visor so yes it's held on with Gorilla Glue and Hopefully, oh, I've got to put this visor up. I can't see a bloody thing. There you go. Oh, look, a muddy road. Just the place you want to be. Um, yes, hopefully the Gorilla Glue will deal with the temperature of the heated grip without unbonding. But at the moment, it is stuck on there rather lovely. And it is working rather lovely and the bar end is tightened up rather lovely so it's all rather lovely I was going to bring that one out today but I decided I'd bring this one out and I'd probably use the project bike for a commute this week because it is looking 
it is, I don't want to get overexcited, but it is looking like Tuesday or Wednesday might be rather nice. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, he says, it's all a dead end. So I should get a commute on the old Gix 1000. Should. Not saying for definite, but I should. All right, let's go down. Oh, nearly stalled it. Let's go down this one. Yeah, so that's really the update. Just a, well, I was gonna say quick update, but that's probably 20 minutes worth. But there you go. I haven't been riding because I've been building wardrobes. And because the weather has been rather poopy. But there you are, you are informed. Wardrobe building, not a lot of maintenance, no shed work. But sometime in the near future, hopefully, the wardrobe will be done. And The shed will be <laughs> the st shed will be started to be continued on. If that makes sense, it makes sense. Sort of makes sense. It makes sense in my head. That'll do. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Ta-ra!